Welcome to Peter Ndurangu's YouTube channel, where we explore the world of technology and its impact on our lives. In today's video, we're diving into the world of cyber threats. As technology advances, so do the tactics of cyber criminals. It's crucial to stay informed about the most common types of cyber threats to protect yourself and your digital assets. Get ready to armor up and stay one step ahead of these nefarious activities. Let's jump right in. 1. Password attacks, such as brute force and dictionary attacks, are common methods employed by cybercriminals to gain unauthorized access to user accounts and systems. Let's delve deeper into these password attacks, their techniques, their impact, and countermeasures. Define, brute force attacks involve systematically trying all possible combinations of characters until the correct password is discovered, while dictionary attacks use precompiled word lists to guess passwords. Both techniques exploit the vulnerability of weak or easily guessable passwords. Techniques, password attackers employ a range of techniques to enhance the credibility and personalization of their attacks, including A. Brute force attacks, attackers use automated software to generate and test a vast number of password combinations, starting from common passwords and progressing through different character combinations. B. Dictionary attacks, attackers utilize dictionaries or word lists containing common passwords, phrases, or words to guess user passwords. They systematically test each entry against the target account or system. Impact, password attacks can have significant impacts on individuals and organizations, including A. Unauthorized access, successful password attacks grant cybercriminals unauthorized access to user accounts, allowing them to compromise sensitive information, steal personal data, or conduct fraudulent activities. B. Data breaches, Password attacks can lead to data breaches, exposing the personal and financial information of users or organizations, resulting in financial loss and reputational damage. C. Identity theft. Compromised passwords can facilitate identity theft, where attackers impersonate individuals, gaining access to their personal information or carrying out fraudulent activities on their behalf. Countermeasures. To defend against password attacks, consider the following countermeasures. A. Strong password policies. Encourage users to create strong passwords that are complex, unique, and not easily guessable. Enforce password length requirements, the use of special characters, and regular password updates. B. Multi-factor authentication, MFA. Implement MFA to add an extra layer of security. This requires users to provide an additional verification factor, such as a unique code sent to their mobile device, in addition to their password. C. Account lockouts and rate limiting. Implement mechanisms that lock user accounts or introduce delays after a certain number of unsuccessful login attempts, mitigating the effectiveness of brute force attacks. D. Password managers. Encourage the use of password management tools that generate and store strong, unique passwords for each account, reducing the risk of password reuse or weak passwords. E. Education and awareness. Educate users about the importance of strong passwords, password hygiene, and the risks associated with password attacks. Teach them to avoid using easily guessable information, such as names, birthdays, or common words. By implementing these countermeasures and fostering a culture of password security, individuals and organizations can better protect themselves against brute force and dictionary attacks, ensuring the confidentiality and integrity of their accounts and systems. 2. Cross-Site Scripting XSS, attacks are a type of web-based attack that target vulnerabilities in web applications. Let's explore XSS attacks in more detail, including their definition, techniques, impact, and countermeasures. Define, XSS attacks occur when malicious actors inject and execute malicious scripts into web pages viewed by other users. These scripts are typically written in JavaScript and can be used to steal sensitive information, manipulate website content, or redirect users to malicious websites. Techniques, Cross-Site Scripting XSS, attackers employ various techniques to make their attacks more convincing and personalized, including A. Reflected XSS, attackers craft URLs containing malicious scripts that are executed when users click on the manipulated links. The script is then reflected back to the user's browser and executed within the context of the web page. B. Stored XSS, attackers inject malicious scripts into a website's database, which are then retrieved and executed whenever a user accesses the infected page or data. C. DOM-based XSS, attackers exploit vulnerabilities in the Document Object Model DOM, of a web page to inject and execute malicious scripts directly in the user's browser. Impact, cross-site scripting attacks can have significant impacts on individuals and organizations, including A. Data theft, 
XSS attacks can be used to steal sensitive information such as login credentials, personal data, or financial details from unsuspecting users. B. Website defacement. Attackers can modify website content, replacing legitimate content with malicious or inappropriate material, damaging the reputation of the affected organization. C. Session hijacking. XSS attacks can be leveraged to hijack user sessions, allowing attackers to impersonate users and perform unauthorized actions on their behalf. D. Malware distribution. Malicious scripts injected through XSS attacks can be used to distribute malware to unsuspecting users, compromising their devices and potentially spreading further within a network. Countermeasures. To defend against cross-site scripting attacks, consider the following countermeasures. A. Input validation and output encoding. Implement strict input validation to ensure that user-supplied data is properly sanitized. Encode output to prevent the execution of malicious scripts within web pages. B. Content Security Policy CSP. Utilize CSP headers to define which sources of content are allowed to be loaded on a web page, reducing the risk of script injection. C. Web Application Firewalls WAF. Deploy WAFs that can detect and block malicious script injection attempts. D. Regular security updates, keep web applications and frameworks up to date, as vulnerabilities that enable XSS attacks are often patched in newer versions. E. User education, educate users about the risks of clicking on suspicious links or visiting untrusted websites. Encourage them to be cautious when entering personal information or interacting with unfamiliar websites. By implementing these countermeasures, web developers and users can mitigate the risk of XSS attacks, protecting sensitive information, and ensuring the integrity and security of web applications. There you have it, an in-depth exploration of the most common types of cyber threats. By understanding these threats and implementing preventive measures, you can bolster your cybersecurity defenses and stay safe in the digital realm. Remember, knowledge is power, and staying informed is the first line of defense. Stay tuned for more valuable content, and until next time, stay vigilant, stay secure, and keep fighting the good fight against cyber threats. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to Peter Durangu's YouTube channel for more high quality content, and hit the notification bell to stay updated with the latest cybersecurity insights. Stay safe out there, and see you in the next video.